the bleak forecast for Russia's economy may take its toll on New York real estate. If the tensions between Washington and Moscow worsen, Manhattan's priciest properties could sit empty. Karina Huber has more. An apartment in this building in Manhattan sold for a record $88 million. The buyer, Russian fertilizer magnate Dmitry Rybolovlev. Three apartments in the pricey Plaza Hotel were bought by another wealthy Russian, composer Igor Krutoy. Russians account for an estimated 20 to 30 percent of all foreign buyers in New York City. But rising tensions between the United States and Russia is causing some of those buyers to shy away. We had a couple of clients who posed and said, uh, let's not uh, look to buy just now. We'll, buy, we'll come back to this in one or two months. Let's see how the situation will settle. Elliot Bogod has many Russian clients. One of them bought this apartment as an investment. It rents out for $11,000 a month. They're looking uh, sometimes uh, to buy and hold and to have it as a pied -a terre Sometimes they have their, their children who are studying in Columbia University, NYU. Bogot says most of his clients are looking for properties in the $1 to $3 million range, but he has others looking to spend up to $10 million. They tend to buy expensive apartments in uh, good areas. Bogot says the two clients who have backed out of deals are worried about more sanctions that could potentially hurt their businesses. And what about the impact on Bogot's business? We don't feel it yet, but again, it's uh, uncertainties. Bogod says there's no shortage of foreign buyers from other countries like China and Brazil looking for properties that can make up the difference. But he concedes that a drop in interest from Russian buyers could hurt the super high-end developments in Manhattan that have a much more limited pool of potential buyers. Russian buyers may have cold feet right now, but New York City is one of the world's most active real estate markets, making prices relatively resistant to economic shifts. And real estate experts say if the economy worsens in Russia, New York could see a greater influx of Russian money as investors seek a safe place to park their assets. In the meantime, though, they're in wait-and-see mode. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.